Hey everyone, it's Max and it's Q&A time! Mr. Cheesy Pop! I haven't done a Q&A in so long and I thought, why don't I do one right now? You gave me awesome questions, I will give you hopefully as awesome answers. The first question comes to us from at the other Katie. And Katie wants to know, if you could duet with any pop star, who would you choose? This is actually easy. I'll give you two answers actually. Uh, Michael Jackson would be my first choice. He was like my idol growing up and I would like imitate him around the house and I would do some Michael Jackson stuff, and, you know, <laughs> do stuff like that. And so I think it would be pretty awesome to do that with him. Obviously that can't happen anymore. So if I had to do a duet with someone that is living, I would choose Kesha, because I think that would be a ripper in good time. <laughs> I don't even know what she would end up doing to me though in the recording studio. I feel like that might be a little crazy. Next question comes to us from at GreenMoo91. And Sarah wants to know, what's your favorite book? Easy. Harry Potter. Uh, specifically, book four. Which leads us right into this question from at Micah Ketchens. Dream audiobook narration job? It would have been Harry Potter and I think that would have been really cool to do. You know what? Let me try to do a, a little excerpt, shall I? Now, when you do an audiobook, you, you read everything, and you read it in all different characters, voices, and I mean, it's everything. So, uh, this is uh, the acceptance letter, as I would have done it. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have a place at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on 1 September. We await your owl by no later than 31 July. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. What do you think? Man, I wish I could have been an audiobook artist when the Harry Potter books were being made into audiobooks. That would have been so cool. All right, now we have a slew of questions related to Disney, of course, and you know how much I love Disney. First one comes to us from at Epcot Expert. Uh, I love your name, Lizzie. This is such a great Twitter name, by the way. Um, and, uh, Lizzie wanted to know, favorite attraction at Walt Disney World? Disney World is so big. Okay, uh, this is really difficult. Now, my favorite, I guess, attraction would be the World Showcase, where you can go from country to country and hop around the world, basically, and eat and drink from every country. It's just unbelievable. I could spend weeks and weeks there just eating and drinking. I love to eat. So, uh, now if you're talking about my favorite ride, it's probably Space Mountain. Oh, now you're making me want to go back to Disney World so bad. I gotta get back there. Next question comes from at Miss Claudia AR, and, uh, Claudia wants to know, favorite Disney movie pre-Tangled Era, IDK, what the current era is called, so I chose a movie cutoff. <laughs> okay. Um, so pre-Tangled Era, is that now the, the 90s era? Or are we talking like classic era? Uh, 90s era, Lion King, classic, Peter Pan. Which brings me to the next question, which comes to us from at Amelia May. And Amelia wants to know if you could play a role in any Disney movie, which princess slash prince and which villain? Um, so I'm not going to choose a prince or princess because I'm going to go with Peter Pan. Uh, he's been the one that I've really always wanted to be like since I was a little kid, because who wants to grow up, right? Right. Which brings me to this question from at Je Suis Loser, Mandy. Uh, what was the first ever Disney film you watched? Peter Pan! This is like a theme going on here. You guys, did you all conspire together to ask me these questions so that they would they would flow naturally? Because you guys are impressive. I Seriously. Seriously. I did not plant these questions. You came up with them and they've got this natural flow to them. So, thanks. This question comes to us from at Elder Swan. And Lisa wants to know if you could play any role on Broadway. What would you choose? any show. It doesn't have to be on Broadway just now. Uh, this, uh, I actually, I think I might have talked about this in my Flashback Friday where I did the Broadway songs, and it is J. Pierpont Finch in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Uh, of course, Daniel Radcliffe did this role, son, and uh, Matthew Broderick actually did this role, and I think Maxwell Glick should be the next to do this role. What do you say? Hmm? How to, how to succeed. I believe in you. I believe in you. There's my audition. Cast me. Go. All right, next question comes to us from Veronica Pereira, and she asks, 
Can your dog join you in your closet? The answer to that is yes! Here's Lucky! Which leads me to the next question from Rebecca Marie, and she wants to know, I've always wanted to know how you got Lucky and named her. Well, I got Lucky from a rescue group on one of my favorite streets in LA. They do pet adoptions, and there she was, has a little pup, one of eight, and, uh, well, fell in love. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And finally, last question comes to us from Ava Sherbatsky, and uh, she wants to know if uh, I could tell us something in other languages that you know. Uh, okay, um, you're from France, and I took some French in high school, so... Merci pour regarder mes vidéos. Je veux aller en France cette année. Uh, au revoir. How was that? <laughs> that, uh, in case you didn't know, means thank you for watching my videos. I want to go to France this year. Bye. <laughs> so, um, cool. Oh, I like speaking French. It's so beautiful. What a beautiful language. And yes, uh, yes, I want to get there this year. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much, guys, for your questions. They were fantastic. You did such a great job. Give yourselves a round of applause. If I didn't get to your question this time, the next time I do a Q&A, ask it and be like, hey, you didn't answer this last time. Okay, I didn't want the video to go on for like 100,000 minutes, right? It'd be a little long. Also, you'll notice that I'm wearing this super duper cool t-shirt and I'm doing a giveaway with Sublime. Now, all you gotta do is click the Sublime link. It takes you to the page, my page in Sublime. Make sure you subscribe to me in Sublime. Click enter contest. That's all you gotta do. One person's gonna get a Mr. Cheesy Pop t-shirt! Yes! So, good luck! I hope you win a t-shirt! Yes! You! So now, I want to hear from you guys! You asked me all these questions, now I got a question for you! What would you most like to see me do on my Tuesday videos? Is it sing a cover song? Uh, do a skit? Do a cartwheel? Break dance in the supermarket? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you'd like, because this is for you guys. And again, thanks for all your questions, and thanks so much for watching me every Tuesday and Friday. You don't know how much it means to me. You guys are really great. I love hearing from you, so keep the comments going. Tweet me, Facebook me, Tumblr me. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you on Friday for Flashback Friday. Go enter the contest and win a shirt. Yay! Bye. Mr. Cheesy Pop.